On behalf of Arcola High School, I'm very proud to present the 2020 virtual graduation ceremony today. I would like to thank parents, grandparents, family members, friends, staff, administration, and the Board of Education for celebrating with us today by watching this special occasion in the lives of the members of the class of 2020. I would like to start off with a few thank yous. First and foremost, I would like to thank Chris Spott and her crew for creating such an awesome memory for the class of 2020. She went above and beyond to make this very special for all of our students. Uh, both her husband, Sean, and Miss Coombe assisted during the video sessions. And, and I have to say that we just had a blast uh, with the kids. You know, there was lots of smiles, lots of laughter. We enjoyed every minute of seeing the kids walk down the sidewalk and pick up their diplomas and turn their tassels and throw their caps up to the air. So again, great big, huge thanks to Chris Spott. Um, to parents, family, and friends, thank you for your partnership and support um, during your child's time at Arcola High School. We appreciate the, all of the trust that you place in us um, to take care of your children, and we thank you for your, for your support and everything you do at home to encourage your children with their learning. To the faculty, staff, and administration, we thank you for your dedicated service to uh, the students and families at Arcola High School. We know that this last spring was not easy. Um, it was really hard on our teachers. Um, they missed their students and especially you, the seniors. Um, we appreciate you know, your inspiration, your innovation, and your commitment to the growth of our students here at Arcola. And last but not least, um, thank you to our seniors, to the class of 2020. You guys did it. And, you know, when I say that you did it, I'm not just talking about making it to graduation day. I'm talking about what you guys did each and every single day to make Arcola High School a special place. You know, a building, a school building is just a, it's just a big empty building without our students. Um, you know, you guys are the ones who make our school what it is. And I've said that many times over my career, but this spring we actually had to live it. And it wasn't easy. You know, um, you guys are the ones who bring the life, the heart, and the soul and energy into our school. It's your laughter in the classroom or in the cafeteria, the dedication and time that you spend with your sports team or your club or your music program. It's your frustrations, your hard work, your perseverance, your creativity, um, collaboration, and especially your service that, that makes our school a wonderful place to be. So class of 2020, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. And you know, we know that this school year um, didn't end the way we wanted it to. Um, you guys missed out on a lot of special events. You missed seeing your friends, and at times you even miss coming here to, to the building. Um, but as it is with any life event, we can always look back and we can either choose to focus on the things that we lost or missed out on, or we can think we can focus on the things that we gained and learned during this experience. So right now, class of 2020, it is time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate all of the things that you have gained through this experience. You made it to one of the most exciting and significant milestones in your lives. And you did it during one of the strangest and scariest times in recent history. Um, COVID 2019 may have thrown a wrench in, in what was a typical year, but I must say that class of 2020, you didn't let that define how you were going to be remembered. So, you know, first, you are the first class to have a virtual graduation ceremony. You know, the memories that, that you have created together is something that no one can ever, ever take away from you. And no event can ever take that away from you. The smiles, the laughters, the bloopers, and even the graduation caps that got stuck up in the tree. Those are all things that we'll be able to look back on and remember. And of course, we're gonna have some awesome pictures of all of you guys in front of our beautiful building. Um, and oh, of course, we cannot forget the graduation parade. That parade is something that's going to be going down in history. Um, you know, the weather was beautiful that day. Our community came out in droves to support you guys. And most importantly, you guys were able to pull off a senior prank by all charging to the front of the cars and 
throwing your caps up in a up at the same time and not only did you do it once but you did it twice so you got to pull two senior pranks um, and I can say if there's one thing that you didn't lose out on this year and that was uh, throwing your caps up in the air you got lots of practice at throwing your caps up in the air um, so please remember class of 2020 that you are in charge of making your own memories despite any setback that may get in your way. So please continue to take charge and make great memories. Now another thing that we learned during this time is how much it means to support one another. Some of you may choose to live your lives in Arcola. Some of you may move away. But one thing that I hope you have learned about living in this community is how important it is to give back. Um, the members of our community certainly showed you their support during this time. There were yard signs galore. There were signs on the billboards. We had um, bows tied around town. We had the Adopt-A-Senior Facebook page, Friday Night Lights, and more. So, um, you know, those things were all done to make you feel spe special because our community members love our students. And last but not least, please remember, class of 2020, that you are much, much more than the students who were born during 9-11 and graduated during COVID-19. The class of 2020 is the class who created their own story during their years at AHS. You know, you made it through all of the years of elementary school, the two years of junior high and your four years of high school. You had to have, you know, you had to learn to adapt and you had resilience. You you survived learning how to work your locker combination in junior high. You survived uh, PE. You survived uh, dissecting cats and math four exams. You name it, you did it, and you did a great job. And you know, I believe that if you made it through all of that, you can make it through the disappointment and the challenges of this time and come through it on the other side better, stronger, and more resilient and with a story to tell. So there will always be things in your life outside of your control. Please remember that. But one thing you can control, students, is how you choose to respond when those things happen and the decisions that you make will ultimately determine the direction of your story. So class of 2020, I wish you the best as you start the memories for this new chapter in your life. Guys, I love you. Congratulations and good luck. At this time, I'm very proud to introduce the Class of 2020 salutatorian, Alexia Guajardo. She will present the welcoming speech from the Class of 2020. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Arcola High School's graduation ceremony of 2020. Now, I know this isn't exactly the most favorable circumstance considering what is happening right now, However, I would like to thank the school and the faculty for working hard to celebrate our journey throughout the school year. This may not be a typical graduation ceremony, but there is nothing wrong with changing things up even if we didn't have much of a choice in that matter. Despite all of this, I would like to thank the family and friends who have taken time out of through the day to attend this special event. Now, I don't want to make this ceremony about how our last few months have gone off the rails because that's not why we're here. We're here because we have all worked hard throughout the years to get us to this point. Now, high school was no walk in the park. There were plenty of obstacles that tried to get in our way, but we did all we could to maneuver around them and make it to the finish line. From the moment we first stepped into the building for kindergarten, it was our first step into our future. We have gained skills thanks to the help of our wonderful teachers, and we have made lasting friendships thanks to our fellow classmates. Sadly, this chapter of our lives must come to an end, so let us enjoy these last few moments together. Right now, every person you know is proud of you for being able to don these robes and complete your high school education. We cannot ignore the dedication and hard work that embodies every graduate. I have no doubt that you will carry that attitude beyond high school and your new life. With that, I can finally say, welcome, not just to this graduation ceremony, but to this new opportunity of life.
this time, I am very proud to introduce the valedictorians of the class of 2020 for today's valedictorian addresses, Braden Edwards and Austin Hopkins. Good evening. My name is Braden Edwards, and it is an honor to be standing before you as co-valedictorian of the class of 2020. Believe it or not, 13 years ago, I started at Arcola Elementary School along with 75% of the class that you see before you. Class, the time has come that we have all been waiting for. And no, I'm not talking about the end of social distancing requirements and wearing masks, but rather it is our time to graduate. Looking back on these 13 years, I can easily tell you that our class is one of the most unique, inspiring, dedicated, and tightly bonded groups of 59 people that you could ever meet. We have gradually shaped each other into the individuals we have become today by inspiring and pushing each other to do something bigger and better each and every day. However, now is the time where we leave behind our lives in high school and enter a new world full of endless possibilities and opportunities, a world full of uncertainty and a world where we have to parent ourselves for the first time, most of us at least. This transition is going to be unlike anything we have ever experienced, and to be honest, from what I know and have experienced so far, it is not going to be easy. We're going to have to put everything we have into becoming whom we want to be. This is going to be a time where we have to be open to trying and learning new things without being afraid to fail. Failure, as a matter of fact, is inevitable. So why do we fear failure? Why not try to do all that your heart desires and learn from the failure that occurs? I know from personal experience that this is easier said than done, so I want to share with you a trick that I learned from one of my favorite TED Talks given by motivational speaker and television host Mel Robbins. Robbins, in her talk, describes how people's minds don't like change, and our brains will actively reduce, resist doing anything outside of our comfort zone, almost like pulling an emergency brake. To combat this, she describes a method known as the five-second rule, which says that any time you have the impulse to do something, Pair that impulse with a physical action within five seconds to prevent your brain from pulling the emergency brake on a new idea and killing it altogether. When I found this TED Talk three years ago, I immediately implemented this five second rule into my life. And I can say that because of this, I have found myself doing more and dreaming bigger. Class, if there is one thing that I want you to take away from this speech, it is that you are all capable of doing amazing things and it is up to you to make that happen within the next five seconds. Hello everyone, and as you all might know, I am Austin Lewis Hopkins, and it gives me great pleasure to be giving you this speech this evening. So without further ado, good evening fellow graduates of 2020. Never in a million years did I see our high school career ending the way it is. But like we always do, we will adapt and move forward. As many of my classmates will remember, Randy Pausch once stated in his book, The Last Lecture, that the brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. I feel safe in saying we're all faced with the brick wall at this unprecedented time in our life. But like Mr. Pausch says, it's only there to see how badly we want something, how badly we want to graduate, or even how badly we want to go outside and socialize. When we first came into high school, I remember thinking, what kind of legacy would we leave behind? Would we be remembered as winners or losers, champions or runner-ups, leaders or followers? But, as, but I realize now that how we are remembered and the legacy we leave behind is not dependent on the amount of banners that hang in the gym or the amount of trophies that fill the halls. Instead, our legacy, the class of 2020, is solely based on our perseverance and the will to keep fighting. This all started from the time we entered the world, during the 9-11 attacks, at a time when terror and fear rang out amongst America, and even then we persevered and made it through. We entered high school and faced another challenge, Ag Olympics. We tend to forget our horrifying loss our freshman year, but we persevered and won the next three. Our class is made of fighters, whether it's fighting for one another under the Friday night lights or fighting to keep our grades up. We fight and we persevere. I'd like to read you all an excerpt from a poem called Bits and Pieces. In this excerpt, it states, I believe in God's master plan in lives. He moves people in and out of each other's lives and each leaves his mark on the other. You find you are made up of bits and pieces 
of all who have ever touched your life. You are more because of them, and would be less if you had not if they had not touched you. Graduates, keep this quote in mind as we move to the next chapter in our lives. Remember that we were all put in the same class for a reason. That we all had the privilege to be the first virtual graduation for a reason. But most of all, remember the relationships and friendships that we made through our time in high school make us who we are. I want you all to know that you touched me in some way. And if it wasn't for each and every one of you, I would not be where I am today. So thank you, and I am forever grateful for my graduating class of 2020. I finally want to challenge everyone, not just the graduates, but everyone in attendance. Go out and be your own hero. Be that hero you've always dreamed of. Understand you may never become your own hero, but at least you will live all your life chasing, catching, and maybe one day becoming your own hero. Never stop moving forward and never stop breaking through those brick walls. Thank you everyone for your time and congratulations class of 2020. We did it. Now the time that you've all been waiting for. It is with great pleasure that I certify that the Arcola High School class of 2020 has completed the established requirements for graduation from high school as stipulated by the Illinois State Board of Education and the Arcola Community Unit School District number 306 Board of Education. Eileen Michelle Acosta Gonzalez. Connor Ethan Alvis. Miles Edward Bott. Sila Louise Brimner. Joshua Asa Bryant. Matthew Isaiah Bryant. Jacob Carl Butler. Cristal Dayanara Cabrera. Luis Fernando Cabrera. Virginia Cabrera. Johan Javier Castro. Mariana Corona. Benjamin Daniel Paul Crane. Miguel Angel de la Garza. Cameron Alexis Delaney. Braden Scott Edwards. Yvonne Alexandro Franco. Cynthia Nayeli Galvin. Gilberto Dante Galvin. David Alejandro Garcia Tovar.
Ugo Yastin Garza. Ivan Aliman Garza. Jocelyn Nicole Gaona. Pedro Eduardo Gaona. Rocio Gomez. Samantha Aaron Motley Grams. Marcos Manuel Guadiana. Alexia Marian Guadajardo Gonzalez. Rosa Maria Harden. Victoria Marie Helmer. Austin Lewis Hopkins. Gabriella Alexis Rose Hopkins. Chloe Lorraine Ingram. Emma Christine Johns. Lisa Marie Madlam. Emma Jade Mann. Joshua Scott Mathias. Cecilia Maria Medina. Jordan Ryan Melton. Hannah Rose Mulligan. Mason Douglas Myers. Astrid Alexandrina Obregon Vega. Diego Alexander Perez. Natalie Joe Pruitt. Jersey Guadalupe Rodriguez. Patricia Michelle Rodriguez. Hector Reese. Selena Maria Martinez Schambarger. Brock Scott Schunkweiler. Carolina Guadalupe Silguero.
Dallas James Sisk. Landon Bo Smothers. Taylor Joe Spellman. Dale Evan Still. Jacob Ryan Sullivan. Rogelio Trejo Ortiz. Elena Blair Tristan. Derek Emery Tuttle. Erica Jane Vandeveer.
Three. Oh, you gotta go up. <laughs> Two, three. You went too far. <laughs> three. That did not look good. One, two, three. Let's do that one again. Two, three. <laughs> Two. Three. You're going too far again. <laughs> Two, three. Hold on. Can we redo that? I didn't poke it. So, if your mom doesn't like it, say Miss Coom did it. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Coom broke it. Miss Coom did my hair. <laughs> okay.